Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be building an attack carver knight. Now we've already done a support one on the channel, but the attack carver knight have been requested a couple of times, so let's get straight into it with the location. So to get carver knight you want to head over to the zero gate. Once you're at the zero gate I want you to just go inside. We're not going to be going on the teleporter pad, just go to the right and then we're just going to jump off. Once you're here just go forward and you can find carver knight just anywhere around here. So we're just going to be looking around for a flying steel boy, there he is. Just hold uh, your left trigger. So so you can aim at him and then just throw Pokemon at him. And then you want to catch your Carver Knight. Make sure it's a flying type terror so you don't have to spend 50 shards later on down the line. And then we'll be ready to get into the build. So like I said, we are going to be running the flying type terror. And the item we have is not actually going to be an attacking item. It's going to be the Shell Bell. And what this item is going to do, it's going to heal us for an eighth of the damage we output to our opponent. So it's going to keep us alive. That, along with our amazing defense and special defense, is going to be what wins us all these raids. And we actually output a decent amount of damage as well. So we're going to be really good in them raids. Now let me show you where to get the Shell Bell. So to get the Shell Bell, you want to head over to Lavincia North. Once you get here, we're just going to be heading in this direction and heading to the Deli Bird Shop. Once you're inside, click battle items, scroll down a little bit till you get to the shell bell and buy it for 20,000 polka dollars. And then I want you to equip it onto your carver knight. Once you get out of the shop, I want you to turn right and head towards the Chansey Supply Shop. It'll be this green and black one right here. And from this shop, what I want you to do is I want you to buy an adamant mint and your EV items. So your EV items will be HP and attack. So I want you to buy 26 of each of those for 520,000. Scroll down to your mints and buy an adamant mint for 20,000. The Adamant Mint will be up in attack, down in special attack. We are a physical attacker, we don't need special attack. So like I said right there, up in attack, down in special attack. And if we click LB, you can see that we have max EVs in HP and attack. Now you're also going to want max IVs on everything except a special attack. So go in your main menu, then click boxes. Hover over your Carver Knight, click the plus button. It will take you to your IVs. If it doesn't say best or hyper trained, you will need a bottle cap for it. I already have special defense, so I only need to buy four bottle caps for this Carbonite. Get bottle caps, just go to any Daily Bird shop, click on general goods, and then you can buy bottle caps. For every bottle cap, it's one max IV, so it will cost me 80,000 for this one. And then I'm going to be heading over to Montenevra to actually activate my bottle caps. Once you're in Montenevra, head over to this guy next to the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. Click on your Carbonite, then click bottle caps. Click HP, attack, defense, special defense, and speed, then start the training. Moving on to our ability, we're going to be using the hidden ability Mirror Armor. What this does, if we get hit with an attack that would lower our stats, let's use Tickle as an example. This would normally lower our attack and defense, but instead it would lower their attack and defense. You will need an ability patch to get this actual ability though, if you didn't catch your Carbonite in a raid. And to get ability patches, you will need to do 6 and 7 star raids. Moving on to our moves, we're going to be using Drill Peck, Bulk Up, Screech and Roost. Drill Peck is going to be a very strong flying type move. In my opinion, one of the best flying type moves there is. I love this move. 80 power, 100 accuracy. Our second move is going to be Bulk Up. This will increase our attack and defense. Really good for offense and physical defense. Our third move is going to be Screech. This will lower the opponent's defense by two stages, increasing our offense capabilities by that much more, but it doesn't work while the shield's up. Our fourth move is going to be Roost. This will heal us by 50% of our max HP. Now to get Drill Peck and Screech, you don't have to do anything. Just level your Carbonite up and you can relearn them. To get Bulk Up, we will need a TM. To get Roost, we will need an Egg Move. Now to get a TM, we're going to be heading to any Pokemon Center. Come into the green section. We're going to be going over to the Fighting section and then going down to Bulk Up, which is TM64. We will need free Makahita Sweat and free Axu Scales for this. I'm going to show you where to get these right now. So to get Makahita, just come over to East Province Area 3 Watchtower. And then just search around the Watchtower until you find a Makahita or a Hariyama. There's some Makahitas down there. We're just going to go take them out. After you take them out, you will get your Makahita Sweat. As for Akshu, we're going to fly over to Dali Zappa Passage. Once you get to Dali Zappa Passage, there'll be a guy facing a wall. You go, you're going to want to face the same wall and start climbing. If you go up any other wall, you could fall off. And you're just going to want to go all the way to the top. Once you're at the top, just look around for Axu or Fractures. So I found one right next to this tree right up here. So I'm going to take it out. And that will get us our Axu scales. And now we can move on to the egg move. So to get the egg move, what you want to do is you want to come over here to Cascarafa North. And then you just want to head over here, jump over the water, turn to the left 
left and there'll be a deli bird shop go inside there click on battle items and then i want you to scroll down and then buy the mirror herb it's about halfway down thirty thousand poker dollars now what you want to do now is change the held item of the carver knight and equip the mirror herb onto it next up i want you to find a pokemon that you have that has roost for me it's going to be noivern i'm going to add that to my party and then i'm going to forget a move and forget roost so i can actually show you as you can see we don't have roost now all we have is three moves for this to work you need to have three or less moves so with both of these pokemon in the actual party go into your main menu go into a picnic wait five to ten seconds then come out of your picnic and your carvingite should now have roost so now that we've gone over the full build let's get into some raids so we got quite lucky we searched for some raids and we actually found a six star bug type raid it's going to be Gallade. let's get straight into it so the first thing we're going to do is use bulk up but the Gallade is going to hit us with a will-o-wisp first this will cut our attack quite a bit there's an option to use Torn instead of Roost with this actual build and you can do that if you want I might even switch to that eventually myself Def depends how things go so we use bulk up get that attack and defense up now we're going to use screech it's going to use close combat that shouldn't do too much after our bulk up and our amazing defense and it will drop the Gallade's defense and special defense now we're going to use screech now i don't feel like we need to actually get rid of the burn just yet i want to get a couple attacks away first so we get closer to that terror for when he puts his actual shield up so we're just going to use drill peck i know it's not going to do that much damage because of the burn now i'm hoping that it doesn't use disable on our drill peck because that is the one and only problem of only having one attacking move you risk the disable the cursed body and all that stuff so it's going to use close combat again that's completely fine we're going to hit him with another drill peck we get a little bit of health back it'll be just enough to cancel out the burn damage so it does steal some of our terror and remove negative effects from itself which is not good we are now at this point going to use a chair we're going to heal ourselves and get rid of that burn the glade is frozen but it breaks out instantly so it's going to use close combat that only helps us out at this point it's frozen again uh, we're going to use drill peck it's probably going to use will-o-wisp oh it's going to use nothing because it's frozen so we go ahead with the drill peck we're just doing damage getting that terror right i think this is the attack we get the terror glades for frozen solid again we use another drill peck get some more health back because of the shell bell oh wait we didn't actually uh, re-equip our actual shell bell so we basically don't have an item right now which is unfortunate i completely forgot to mention don't forget to put your shell bell back on i forgot to do it i still have a mirror herb equipped which is no good at all but we are still doing very well in the raid as you can see so glade fard out and it's going to use close combat i don't think it will kill it doesn't we are a pure flying type now so it's not very effective and this should do a lot of damage and break the shield well let's see it does do a lot of damage and it breaks the shield it's going to use psychic terrain now really if we had our shell bell we wouldn't need to do this because we'd be like at least on half health i want to say but we're going to need to heal up just in case he uses psycho cut and gets a crit with the psychic terrain up so i'm going to heal and let the actual ai finish it if they can so it doesn't actually attack us because it's frozen. We do love Weavile. And then we're just going to use Drill Peck and finish it off. And we have half the time remaining. And keep in mind, we essentially didn't have an item, that raid. So we just destroyed that six star raid with half the time remaining with no item. And that's how strong this build is going to be. Now the fourth move, you can choose which one you like the sound of better, Roost or Taunt. Both are very good moves. We do get some spicy Herb and Mystica, which is amazing. Now let's get into that second raid. I didn't go into the second raid without putting my Shell Bell back on. I don't know what you're talking about. So our second raid is going to be a fighting type five star bravery let's get straight into it battle of the birds now the good thing here is we are a steel type so steel types resist quite a lot of things so we're going to be very good at type matchups before we go into our terror so first up we're going to use bulk up this will increase our attack and defense Bravier is going to use Air Slash, which is not going to do much damage. It's not even a special attacker. Not sure why it's using that. We're going to use Screech on our second turn, decreasing their defense by two stages. We're going to use Air Slash again. Air Slash probably does more damage now that we've used Bulk Up. So now we're going to use Drill Peck. Ba boom Do some damage. And now you get to see the Shell Bell in action. Oh, there's another Carvanite on the team. Only just realized. So now we are actually at max HP again. It's going to steal some of our Terra Charge, which is not good. And then use Superpower. But Superpower does nothing because we did use Bulk Up. And it's just going to reduce its own defense. It uses Tailwind, probably faster than us now. And then its shield goes up. It's going to use Superpower again. It's just going to make the raid quicker. We don't mind that. Its attack fell and its defense fell. 
We're going to use Drill Peck, do some more damage, get some more health back, see how much we get back. We go back to 54. I think that's how much uh, the actual superpower did anyway. The Braviary is going to use Hone Claws, increasing its attack and accuracy. We don't mind that though because we have uh, Shell Bell and we've used Bulk Up and then we use Drill Peck, get some health back, we're back on max health near enough. It's going to use Crush Claw, it's going to do 7 damage. 7 damage, that's incredible. So we're going to use our last Drill Peck, we're going to break the shield and we're going to get our Terrestrialize. We're back on full health now. We've not even dropped beneath 300 health. It's going to remove negative effects from itself and then attack us. This time it's doing 47 damage, doing a lot more damage. It did get a crit though. I don't think we need to terrestrialize in this raid. So we hit it with a drill peck and then the raid ends. And we go back to full health just to rub it in. Goodbye birdie. Oh, we get another Herba Mystica. That's amazing. We're getting pretty lucky today. Now let's move on to that third raid. So our third raid is going to be a five star grass type Dragalga. Let's get straight into it. So like usual, we're going to use Bulk Up to increase our attack and defense by one stage. Dragalga can't actually use Toxic on us or Sludge Bomb, which is amazing. Then we're going to use Screech. We're going to use Dragon Pulse. That will do no damage. You know what? Let's go for one more Screech. Why not? It's going to use Water Pulse again. Don't confuse us. Damn it. So we're going to try and use Drill Peck. Hopefully we break through Confusion. So we don't break through Confusion, so we don't get that massive hit before the shield goes up. Oh, maybe we do. We snap out of Confusion. The shield still hasn't gone up. We get to use Drill Peck, and we do a lot of damage, taking it down to the red. And we go back to full health, I'd imagine. Yes, we do. It uses Dragon Pulse. That's fine. The shield goes up, and then it steals some of our Terra Charge, and then removes negative effects from itself. I'm just going to keep attacking at this point until we get our terrestrialized. So there's a drill peck. Gets us a little bit of health back, not too much. It's going to use Dragon Pulse. Another drill peck. This time it's going to use Water Pulse. So this is our last drill peck before we can terrestrialize. So we're going to terrestrialize now, get this raid over with. So we terrestrialize and then use drill peck to take out the Dragalgo once and for all. You could even try and one shot the opponent by using like free screeches and attack cheer and then just attacking. I wouldn't recommend it because Carbonite isn't like super, super attackingly strong. It does have decent attack, but it's not like way up there. But it's something you can try. Now, as you can see, during them three raids, we barely went into the uh, orange, so below half. The only time we did go into the orange was against uh, the six star Gallade. And that's only because we didn't have our Shell Bell on us. I don't think we would have dropped orange if we had our Shell Bell equipped. That was my bad. You've seen for yourself what this Carbonite can actually do. Now all you have to do is go out and try it for yourself. Hope you have a lot of fun. Check out this build on screen right now. It's going to be the Samrat build from the weekend just gone by. It's going to be a very fun build. And if you don't have it yet, it'll be coming on the upcoming weekend again. And I'll catch you on the next one.